Have you wondered about how to enter multiple coordinates on the Garmin GPS Map 67i? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it and actually how to save those as different waypoints. So it's real simple. What you do is you hit this mark button right here on the 67i. And what it does is it brings up a screen that has the, at the very top, it has a flag and you can change the icon there to something different. In fact, I'm going to go do it real quick just to show you. And you can pick from all kinds of things from flags to markers I and mean, there's triangles, circles and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, just want to show you that first. So I'm going back out and right next to the flag that I've got here is it says 00. 08. So it's the number that it gives you for the waypoint. And this is where you can change it. And I've changed some last night. I was testing it and I made them like test one and then the date. But once you get done with that, then you arrow down to the location. You select location. And now here is where the northing and westing for me in this part of the country will show up. And then there's the numbers up top. Now you can arrow around here and you can change because right now mine says north 39.29, etc. And it says west. 104.925 and you can change it so I went and found three different waypoints last night and I took the time to go through and enter them and it's real simple you just select the numbers and then there's these arrows left and right where you can go to the right point whether it's a northing or westing and you can change the numbers now when you're done you then go to done and then you go down to where it says save you select that so that is saved. So I've got a waypoint 0008, and I've also got three test coordinates from last night. So let's go take a look at them. So what I do here is I go into the menu and I go down to the waypoint manager. So you select on waypoint manager and right at the top is the 0008, it says 6.31 a.m. But let me go down to the test I did last night and here's test one, two, and three. So in this case, I'm gonna select test one and it has the information on it. It has the coordinates and then it says view on map. It also has the elevation. So I'm going to hit view on map and there's the map where it's at and then it says go. So I'm going to select go. It says it's calculating and anyway now you can start navigating it's really that simple you don't overwrite your other coordinates and i had a question about this because the person thought that it was overwriting it it saves it as a waypoint and it'll assign a number to you in sequential order so it's just going to be the next number just like today it was 0008 but then you can also give it its own unique name well that's it if you've got any questions i'd love to hear about them if you've got other ways that you think it's better and easier to enter coordinates and get to those waypoints. I'd love to hear that too. Well, if you want to know everything there is to know about the 67i, I have a video that's basically everything about the 67i. It covers everything from SOS, two-way messaging, all the way to weather, navigating, track back. You'll learn a lot about it and it's right here on the screen and in the description below. So check that out. I also have a playlist of the 67i. I spent a lot of time on this because it was difficult for me to understand it well. So I broke it all down into smaller pieces and in that video i combine them all into one so everything's there so you don't have to go look at a playlist if you don't want to well thanks for joining me out here in colorado at outdoor emergency tech and i will see you back here in another video